Boys, you guys love part one, breaking down the tournament games, $180,000 tournament, man. And we were ranked in the top 20, so we got a couple games to play. You guys saw the first one, like, comment, and got enough likes. We're going to go to the second one. But first, let's take a look at the bracket over here. Here we were, 17 seed and around the 250 plus. We won that game right there that you guys already saw. So now we're going to play Pogue Vision. I don't know what Pogue Vision is. I have no idea. I got no film, no game plan. No nothing on Pogue Vision, but let's get after it, boys. All right, man, you guys, game number two, you guys love the, the comms on these games. Obviously, I'm going to keep bringing you games with the live comms, reactions, everything like that, because that's what it's about. That's why I thrive, because of the passion in these games. But let's get to it, man. Like I said, no game plan on this guy. No nothing. We're going we're gonna to check in early and see what things are like, man. So, Pogue Vision. I don't know who this guy is. I don't know anything about him. Uh, all I know is let's get it. That's how I feel. That's how I'm looking good. Feeling good. We played okay the first game. We definitely got to dial things up if we're going to go ahead and... If we're going to go ahead and, and move on, man. Because these games are only going to get tougher. My opponents are only going to get better. So, for me... Uh, we definitely got to dial it in. Put a little bit of game volume, I think, if we got it. I don't know if we recorded it or not. But doesn't look like it. But once again, we're kicking the ball off here. This guy, no money spent tag. I doubt he's no money spent. That's simply not uh, not going to be something you see in these tournaments, especially early in the year. Uh, so that's the way to go. Uh, I do play with the Eagles. I do have a home field in Philly. A lot of people play in this dome, so like, Wind is not a factor, but man, I'm old school, dude. Let, football was meant to be played outside. Uh, part of me likes that. Uh, and one thing is when you're really a sweat, you pay attention to the wind and you kind of use it to your favor. Gun Bunch, I know that I play this a lot. Uh, I play Skimbo a lot, so I know kind of what to expect here. We're going to play a little man coverage here. Uh, check his abilities. That's one thing. I had to reset the play right there because I just messed up an ability. So we're going to start with a little cover four out the gate. Uh, he didn't like anything. Hey, we what the Come on, Holland. Yeah, we need a hit right Come there on, on the quarterback. Uh, Holland did not make a play right there. So now first play, I didn't really, uh, you know, I didn't really, wasn't comfortable on that first. So it wasn't dialed in. So let's go ahead and check his abilities. This something if you're really sweating, you got to go check people's abilities. What does he have? Does he have hot or does he have extra hot routes? Does he have slot apprentice? Does he have outside apprentice? Outside apprentice is going to be a big deal here in Madden going forward. So all you guys pay attention to that, man. It's one of the biggest deals in the game right now is that outside apprentice because that c route you get in the outside apprentice is really the best man beating route in the game so you got to pay attention to that especially when you're running man coverage so now i know he has that where's he going to put it just depends uh, and what i got to do see i got to put a third out there on justin jefferson because he has that outside apprentice uh we're gonna try a loop uh, i got i got the running back nice holland need it let's go baja we get a That's huge talk pick to players holland. man he didn't make that hit stick on the first play but we talked to him, told him step it up. He catches that pick on that contain. Uh, honestly, this is this is like super lucky. This shouldn't happen. Uh, it's a contain. Uh, you guys know the loop blitz is going to contain here. I mean, I was guarding the running back. Uh, he probably would have completed a pass, and maybe I make a tackle with Atwater. But it definitely wasn't going to be picked. But I mean, Holland should put his hands up or knock it down. But the fact he intercepts that, nice is just tough. Holland, need it. Let's go, Baja. That's just that's tough. why you talk to your but, players, man. Hey, we'll take it to start the game. Seven nothing out the gate, looking good, looking great. Right back on defense, man. I get the ball at half. Everything's going well. Uh, we're not pressing this game. You see, I put a quarter out there to stop the corner routes on the right side. He does not motion, so we'll have that. We'll be looking good underneath. Uh -huh. Need a little knockout right there. I believe I have medium knockout there on Lester Hayes. If I had short knockout, he would have knocked that out. But medium is like 10 to 20 yards. Uh, if you want to knock that pass out, you wouldn't need a short knockout, <clears throat> which I normally run on my safeties. Here he goes, flipping a bunch, so I have to reset my play, redo my adjustments. Uh, we back off the coverage here because uh, we don't want to give up anything cheap. Once again, everybody manned up. Everybody covered. We get a big sec. Third down. We get the third down. Lawrence Taylor gets the quarterback. We're just dialed in on defense right now. Uh, you got to be just 100% focused on defense. Can't mess up any of your adjustments here. Here, we're going to go a little hard flat. We're going to put that, that third out there to guard the corner routes. I got the tight end on this play if he cuts to the middle. Uh, I got tight end, and 
Hell no. Yasserski, Baja, back to back pick six. And we get another pick six. This one off the face of Allstott. Was he covered here? I mean, this is. He's got a man on him, and there's a hard flat over there on the left. So he's definitely not going to get the first down and probably will drop this pass, really. But, I mean, good for me. It bounced off his face, right, boys? He tried to uh, pass lead, free form it up, bounce off his Hell face, no. and yes, Moss sir, catches Baja. it, takes it to the crib. Back to back pick sixes. We're feeling like a million bucks here, boys. Uh, this is uh, my game to lose now. Uh, I would have to choke to lose this game. 14 0. This guy doesn't have a first down. Uh, and so, and we get the ball at half. He hasn't even seen me play offense yet, and we're at 14 nothing. So for me, couldn't script the game any better. Two kind of fortunate picks right here. We got that quarter out. Oh, yes, sir. And it's an overthrow too. He gets one that could have got in. He's one for four with two picks that honestly weren't the worst awesome. reads, but they were turned into interceptions. So we're definitely, we're definitely on the good end of the luck stick so far here in the first two minutes of the game here. Uh, as we get another second and ten, you see same adjustments really to stop the corner route, put that third on the right side, and that just a little drag. I mean, we'll live with that every day of the week. Drag right there, get him to a third and four here. Tough for him to play, man. When you guys, you guys play Madden, sometimes when you get get down early, get cheated early, it's hard to focus. So we'll see how he responds to this. You know, so I'm definitely feeling good. And we go here, we just go like a base cover three Nothing's here. Open. Nothing we'll doing. Him. We're gonna send this guy. Oh, get the him! Ball away. We are dialed right now on the defensive on, side of the football. It was absolutely dialed. Fourth and four. Uh, this is, I, I don't want to say this is emergency time. This is, I don't want to say ball game, but geez, this is, you know, you better find the dot right here. You better find something f fresh, something crispy right now. As he motions out here, I think I'm going to re-man coverage. So I can't, now we're just straight man right here. Going straight man coverage, blitz five, send the dogs. And, he, and Sneed gets beat on the corner out. Tough. Now, Sneed, what, what I use on Sneed is inside shade and medium knockout. Now, inside shade will give you better man coverage against all routes ran inside the numbers. So, bunch. Any route inside bunch, uh, inside shade is what you want to use because the routes are run inside the numbers. But that time Sneed got beat. This time... Sneed got beat again. No way we're getting cooked by damn Keyshawn right now. By Come Keyshawn. On. That's not Randy Moss or Jefferson. It's not, uh, you know, it's not Andre Reed. It's, you know, Keyshawn Johnson, dude, who's what, 86 speed now? Come on, man. We got to get, we got to play a little bit better man coverage here. As right here, we still have the man. We got tight end running back. Hey. Oh! oh! We He's drop getting... a pick right there. I mean, I feel like Come on, man. Uh, the two picks we caught were kind of fortunate. So, you know, right Madden giveth and taketh that time we dropped probably the easiest pick that we had so far in the first quarter. But after the two picks I caught, we can't be too upset about that. Just got to move on. Next down, man. Randy Moss dropped that one. This one, we're going to rush three people. Just yellow zone, flat zone. Everything's kind of bagged right here. He takes off with A-Rod. Picks up a cool eight yards up. Oh. Listen, man, when he has no one to throw to, that's a good thing. Scrambling with the quarterback, eventually he's going to get a touch. He's going to fumble. He's going to drop it. That's a good thing. So just stay at it here. Third and two, another third down. We've had fourth downs, third downs, and this was a great play. A play a lot of people used last year, that little whip route and the in route. That's a real, It was a good man beater last year, and this year I haven't seen it too much early in the year, but he definitely pulled that out right there when he needed a dot. We'll see if that continues to be a play that he goes to here. As he, and this is a good response drive. This is a good drive that he, he really just needed a drive like this to go ahead and keep control. And right here, we got the... Uh, now, I this... All right, now, let me show you this play. Now, this... All right, look. I want to show you guys this play because you guys know I third that outside guy, right? I'm going to third Carlton Davis to stop corner routes. That's what I want to do over there. I want an extra person on the corner route. Then I'll man up the safety on Moss. But he motions them rather than out. He motions them across the field. What's going to happen then is my deep third is going to run with Moss. So what I want to do is to stop that run because I don't want I want that third to stay over there. So what I could do is go user him and just stop him from running. But that's a little too tough. So what I want to do is base a line right here before he snaps. So I base a line right there. But now the man coverage is going to be flipped all over the place. As you see right now we have. Ronnie Lott's on the running back, and now we have Moss, who I manned up on Moss, is still on Moss. So I have everybody accounted for on the left, and this is why a lot of times you got to stare at your play art to see what happens here. Uh, and somebody's on the running back, I believe. And I believe, 
I guess not. I guess they wound up both on Randy Moss when he motioned over, and nobody wound up on the running back, which, you know, I just... How did nobody... Oh, it's just tough. God. Just uh, It was a good audible oh. for what I did. I shouldn't have base aligned. Uh, that way, I knew, it's just... It was a good play. It was a good motion. Caught, me, caught me off then guard. Wasn't ready for it. Oh. Just tough. Just tough situation. Uh, great play call for what I was doing. I should have... What I should have did in hindsight was just reman that that blue running across the field, reman him up. So now it's 14 to seven. This is my first time touching the football here, boys. My first time, all game, first time. He's in nickel normal. Now I will tell you, nickel normal is one of the toughest defenses to play because it can scream at you. It can be coverage. It can be match coverage. It can be man zone. And it all looks the same. And, and one of the struggles with running tight is that there's so many people in the box that it's like they can either blitz or drop off or anything. So definitely a tough defense to play against. I really don't have the best tells in nickel normal. But we're going to motion out a streak here. Look for the corner route. Uh, that's where we're going to go at. We're going to go to Parham here. Get swatted. He really wasn't covered that well. And what I noticed there is this guy's running match. Cover four palms or quarters or whatever it is. Uh, and it's kind of... It's good because against a two by two set here, they're going to man up perfectly. The corners will take the the corners will take the outside guys and the safeties will take the inside guys. So right now I have I'm going to have Holland on Moss. I like this matchup. I go to it and I mean just wouldn't just, even let me move, bro. What the you fuck? know, it just wouldn't let me click on the right way and and get that play there. I said I like this matchup. I do. I would love to have clicked on and like attack the ball better but i don't know if it was laggy or i normally you guys watch i click on and really come get the ball right here like i like that throw and that position on a db right there just a click on come back aggressive catch five yards in front of them i click on and they just don't let me attack the ball like i want and holland just goes and gets it move, so we throw a pick i mean that's Fuck, tough man. i mean the game has worked really well uh it's turned out really well for me so for me to throw a pick is letting this guy sneak back in this football game can't have that man tough so like i said we do two picks in game one that's our our second pass of the game is a pick so not the sharpest but like i said with the other picks in the last game i would throw that pass again man i like that matchup we'll see how i continue to attack this this match as the game goes on uh because match is essentially zone that will turn into man after they get past 10 yards or something so you kind of got to use man beaters even though it's zone you kind of got to still use man beaters so it's a little bit it's a little bit different to attack and i'll show you guys how i do that and how if i can do it down the line here we go here we go that motion again what do i do this time uh, i honestly just leave it i cross man that guy with a and we're gonna get a knockout here i believe yep that's that medium knockout that time i just left the the third run across the field and cross man the wide receiver with the linebacker that's one of the beauties of running holland and micah hyde or cam chancellor at outside linebacker they can stand up in man coverage pretty good even against these wide receivers uh, so that's why you should always have safeties at linebacker. I know they, they talked about having uh, worse against the run this year. but And that's true, but it's just not as drastic as uh, as it should be so for you to take them guys out. And right there, we get a huge, he snaps throws. Ronnie Lott with a huge tackle here. 14-7, to 7, what decision he's making? Oh. This is honestly a pretty good decision, man. You've been absolutely, I don't want to say cheated, but things did not go your way the first two minutes of this game. And now you're back into a sweaty, you know? You took that pick, turned it into three points, and can you continue to play defense? So we'll see what I choose to do here. Once again, I'm getting that nickel normal look. Seven people right up there in the box, and the two corners too, so it's kind of nine people right in the box right there. We're going to motion out a streak uh, because we want a streak. I'm going to see if I should see. What we want is it's easy match, right? The match is the corner will take Jefferson on a streak. You know, the underneath zone will take Mixon on the in route. And that leaves the, the strong safety over there one-on-one -on -one with Parham. So I want Parham to beat him on this corner route. Now, in, in hindsight, this is not the best corner route to beat man. This is more of a bench corner route to try to high ball. And, and the thing about match is it's not man until 10 plus yards. So he's not gonna get beat on the sharp cut of the corner route. He's probably gonna man up after the route takes place. So we'll see how it goes, but that's my plan. I know what's gonna happen. I know uh, who I want to get open and, and this is, we'll, we'll execute. And then I have my backside in route, which is open right here, but he, he kind of guards that for sure. You see just how I broke it down. B is on the corner, A is on the safety. I like Parham here, click on and I mean, Come on. I don't know now, how we man. didn't 
we didn't get our hands on the football though like I, I mean i understand maybe it could be a pick but we can't even like get our hands on the football you guys have been playing this game parm normally always dogs on high balls like that and for him to not even get his hands on this football here tough scene but like i said it worked out exactly how i wanted you know you gotta think you at least get your hands on the football here so back-to-back -back plays i throw picks not the best user i'll say i mean like i said i would have thrown both of those passes but parm did not beat that match like i wanted uh, i would want him to whoop him a little bit stronger here here he goes for a high ball and we and then i can't come on man that's uh, a we, book man man we can't catch that pick you know so we do two corner routes two picks he throws one up i can't catch the pick on that 1v1 tough but you know we got to go and he motions back out i'll probably reman right here or I'll, I'll forget. He might hit me with the wheel route. See, I did not reman. He's still in the third right here. And, yep, he hits me with the wheel route. Gets 10 yards. So, got to remember when he motions out, I have to reman that guy. Here he goes. A huge run. Boom. And somehow, this guy who do two Jeez, pick sixes. He do two it. pick sixes in the first two right. minutes. Now yeah, has the sure lead, boys. Uh, we got to go down the field and get some points here. We don't even have a first down yet in this game. This time, we're going to do the same thing here, boys. Same exact thing, except we're going to the short side. We're going to Randy Moss instead of Parham. We're starting to trust Moss a little bit more uh, than Parham. You know, that's kind of how I'm feeling. And underneath, we'll just check it down right here. Get a first down. Get get our blood flow and get the tempo together. Get things settled down because, you know, with no first down and two interceptions, that's a tough way to start. This defense is certainly giving me trouble. And I know that uh, the money man that I need to be looking for is is my corner routes and is Parham that guy. Once again, match right here. Nobody's open. He only rushes three. I'm gonna get rid of the ball here. It's just say, it's the same thing. It's just quarters. You'll see uh, the corner on the outside get Jefferson. You'll see the strong safety get Parham. You'll see both deep zones get Randy Moss. He has a double coverage, and then that underneath zone will eventually pick up Devontae Adams on the left. So you know that was just a shot play really and. Nothing was really doing as we get to a second and 10 here. Same thing. But this time, if you guys notice, I switched around my personnel. So now instead of relying on Parham's route running to get open, I'm going to rely on Devontae Adams right here, who's honestly one of the best receivers in the game. I have Raiders theme team, so I believe he has 86 speed, I want to say, or 87. So he's good. So I'm relying on him a little bit more here. Uh, so that's why I made that, that, that switch. And he actually blitzes everybody here. Zero coverage. I'm going to try to just dump the ball off. Panic throw. Could have got a pick there, but, you know, we don't. So, we got a third and ten right here. We're going to do the same thing. Motion out. We're looking for the corner route to Devontae Adams here. And he's actually going to wind up with double coverage right here. As you guys see, I got wide, wide open. But this is kind of, I, I know the defense. I know the read. I know what I'm going to get. I didn't know I'd get double coverage out here. And the He's double coverage, once again, they're bad. he was bagged. Now, if you look, Randy Moss might have had a step out here on this streak. About right there. If there was good lobs, maybe a free-form lob to the middle of the field, Moss could have scored. Obviously, why is the read here? But I'm looking at Devontae. You see him lighting up. I think he's going to fry. But he just wound up getting bagged by that double cover, that match double coverage. So right now. And now that I know I, I need an underneath zone there. Now, this is tough for me, dude. Tough for me to punt. I'm really got fortunate this game. Fourth and ten in any free game, any mutt head to head, any weekend league. I am going for this 100% of the time. But you know what? I've played some decent defense. I like my defense. Uh, I like playing against bunch. I feel comfortable. I'm going to punt the ball here. I get the ball at half. No sense in chasing and rushing. And maybe I'm old, but that was just. I felt like that was. It was a tough punt, I'll be honest, boys. It was really tough to punt after choking that 14 nothing lead. And uh, but I, I think it I think it was the right move. Tell me, let me know you guys. Would you punt in that situation? Really tough to do, but hey, I, I'm in shambles defensively, so we're trying to switch around. There we go. We're looking a little bit better here. I got the tight end if he crosses across the field. We have a hard flat, but if he goes on a drag, I gotta get the tight end. Tight end does go in yeah. I guess that wasn't my responsibility. I don't know. And somehow he picks Fuck, up 60 man. yards on the tight end drag. I'm just messing up my adjustments, man. I tell him I had two flat zones and just just brain farts. Old man stuff, no, wait, boys. Wait. Old man stuff. Let me know your age in the chat. I am 35. Might have been the oldest person playing in this tournament. Uh, so definitely make some mistakes from time to time. Here we have great defense. Everybody was bagged up right there. And we get Bruce Smith with a big sack. That's probably going to take us to the two-minute warning here, boys. And it will. So we get a second and 14 for him. Looks like he's going to dump the ball off here to Allstott. 
Yeah, underneath, he's just going to dump it off. Ronnie Lott's all over it, though. Uh, and, you know, I wish... Now playing Bunch now, I like to have short knockout on both of my safeties for plays like that. We get to a big third and ten here, man. We got to get off the field, force a fourth down right here. He goes with a run to secure a field goal, and we actually bottle it up so much he gains one yard. That was a run, like, I just want to get a field goal here and go up 20-14. to 14. But he gets no yards there. So he gets a fourth and nine here. So he's not in field goal range yet. One thing I love about Madden early in the year, these guys aren't kicking 65-yard field goals. It's so refreshing. Uh, God, I wish we had to use base elite kickers all year. Fourth down, we're going to send some pressure. And he quick snapped the play. Not the best play. Looked like he might have had the out route, but that really isn't his read, I don't think, on this play. Motion out, out route. It honestly looked pretty good over there. Justin Jefferson on the left was open. Obviously, he had the hook. The uh, smoke screen, but I don't think you're going to get in with that smoke screen. But that out route looked honestly Let's pretty go. crispy over there, but he didn't trust this. So we get a stop. The punt worked. Uh, we got to get some points here, man. We got to get the blood flowing. We got to get some tempo. Once again, this is just match coverage, man. And we step up and we get sacked. Who got shedded right there? Looks like Joey Bosa around the edge. Comes around and sacks the quarterback here. Once again, man, it's just like I don't got nothing. I don't like anything right now. I'm trying to cook up some dots. We got to rely on our corner route, man. Dance with who brought you to the party here. Motion out. We got one-on-one. -on -one. We got Moss against... Against what you call We get a huge Moss right there, actually. I'm still Moss to shit up. Now, what I'm realizing is that if I don't have an underneath route, Sneed, who's in the slot, is probably in a purple zone, will go run with the corner, too. So we essentially get double coverage on Moss, which I don't expect. I expect this to be a one-on-one, -on -one, but it became a two-on-one, uh, two and I got to dump the ball off here to B and pick up what I can. And you see A on the right side is open, too. So these are all things I see going through the game and I can come back to later. But I expected a one-on-one -on -one there, and we <laughs> we actually Moss the guy blinking and Sneed. So that was all right. We're getting back in the game here, boys. We're getting back. That was some needed that to catch my breath. Uh, we got under a minute left. I only got one burner left. So we got, we're going to try to take a shot here. Streak post. We're going to go for it. I mean, I like that throw. I just, once again, I don't know what was about this game, but I need to come back and get this football. I swear it was laggy. Because normally I come back and get this football right here. And we're going to click on right here and come back and high point this. Or whatchamacallit, I, and catch this ball at the highest point. But it just doesn't let me come back. I'm just stuck in like a, could have been a pick, but was a swat right there. So, tough. Tough. Could, like I said, could have been a pick, but he swatted it, gave me life. Just not not getting not getting good position on, on these passes now with my wide receivers. Once again, we're motion out. We're going for a corner route. Moss, we're going to go top here. Moss, nothing. That could have been a pick, too, if Ronnie Locke got his hands around. So, I'll be honest. This quarters is bagging the corner route. They are playing really good coverage on it. The, strong, the safeties are honestly playing really well. We're going to go to try to go to this for a big play here or a touchdown. Uh, this post route is probably my best that I have. So we'll see if we get this to work. We'll put a comeback route. Try to go for Like I said, we're trying to get a touchdown here to Jefferson. That's our read. And we got it. Let's what go, Justin. Get in the end zone. Let's go, man. Die. What a throw, Come man. On. What timing. Uh, it's just, like I said, match just becomes man coverage. And you see Carlton Davis is trailing B. And then the safety is going to take A. The only thing that's going to mess this play up is... What's the free safety going to do? The free safety is in a quarter. I know that I have to throw this ball before the free safety gets involved. So that's what I do right here. Just we got to let it go. We got to let it fly. He takes the slant. Just in a perfect spot. A-Rod. Look at that. Huge catch Let's by Let's go. Jefferson Justin, too. get an end zone. Let's by go, far, man. Die. By, by far on. the best player in the game. By far the best wide receiver. So we take the lead back. 25 seconds. That was a huge play. He's going up top. We got to swat this ball out of here. That's what we do. Like, bro, you just never catch did they never catch that, that tip ever, pick huh? anymore this year? The, the D-line wow. catches it, but the DBs will never catch that tip pick this year. Just terrible, man. Those That's got to be an interception, I think. Here we go. We're still looping, but we're just playing a little cover three here. We get a sack. I'm going to let it go to half because I get the ball at half. So that's good. So things got fortunate. Then I started getting bagged this first half, man. We got to put it together because, man, if I didn't get those two fluke picks, I could be down bad right now. So... Those two fluke picks definitely helped me out with uh, kind of getting a lead and being able to get bagged, if that makes any sense, you know. So we definitely got bagged there in the first half, so we're going to try to open it up here. I make sure Moss is my corner route. You see the difference I do with my personnel, move my players around with different packages. So we'll put Parham on the outside. Now we have Moss 
going against Micah Hyde instead of Parham. We have, you know, the, one of the best receivers in the game going against him with the route running that's short in, and he has deep out. So hopefully this makes a difference. And you see, it just makes a difference right there. Thank you, man. Deep out elite, caught every just time. Beat the goddamn shitty safety, and we'll be good, dude. That's all you gotta do. It's it's really all it is. And we'll just flip it back this play again. Same thing. I want to do the same exact thing. And now it, I'm going to have it again. I mean, that's it. That's all it's, I mean. It's I just, just free. It's just, running. I got to make sure it's Moss, and I got to make sure it's to the need. wide side. All right? This is kind of what I learned middle of the game right here, you know. Uh, it's, like I said, you're not prepared for anything, and that guy comes and free. And we get intentional grounding. We get intentional when somebody grounding. over there, I'm on a 13-air. Some guy just came free. Exactly. We throw the ball away, and then we get intentional grounding, of course. Normally inside the 20, they let you throw the ball out the back of the end zone for, for you know, not intentional grounding. But, you know, me, they're going to cheat me. So, here we go. We're looking for the running back here. We actually hit the flat for Jefferson there. Let's go, there Justin. Get in the end zone. Get in the end zone. Just a beast, dude. Just a beast of a read right here. Now, I run this play. I run this play to get... The running back or Parham right here, or Moss on a corner route. That's what I get. So my reads are right to left right here. See, I use the flat route to take away all the zones, take all the flat zones and push them to the right so I can hit this running back wheel. I mean, that's really what I want. But because I, I make that read right away that the flat's open, and this is why you guys got to be on freeform passing. If you guys see the way I pass this up with the left stick and freeform right there, look at the animation I get when I catch this. Shoulders forward, full momentum, uh, almost like a wheel route. Just absolutely the best feature. They're the best thing about freeform is you can catch a pass like that. In past years, that would have been four yards. This year, catch it with momentum, run by him, juke him. Let's go, Justin, get in the end get zone. In the end zone. So, huge play, huge drive right there. We used Moss, we used the wide side of the field. Then we hit the flat pass to Jefferson. We're back up 11 points. Things are looking good for the boys. Just got to keep it safe here. No big plays. And we haven't really given up big plays. So that's a good thing. That's a relief. And everything is bagged bad. on this play. He goes for this. Medium knockout. And oh. Sneed got to get to that one. I'll be honest. With medium knockout. Sneed has to get to that one, honestly. So let's see who goes with here. Intentional grounding. Yeah. Wait, like, what's the difference? I just, that's what I want to know. Like, why does that not intentional grounding? He just throws it away to the wheel route. I, I, I really want to know the exact reason intentional grounding works and doesn't work. It's just great defense here. Look how physical we get with with uh, Keyshawn Johnson. The amount of pressing and inside the ten, like boom, 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 boom. Everybody pressed Keyshawn. He had no chance to get him the ball right there. Third and ten. He's going to look for the corner route again. We're going to go ahead and put a third probably, but he motions out, so I have to reman to stop the wheel route. There it is, man. We're just cover one right now with one safety high. He motions back in. Motions back out. This is getting kind of re redundant right now. He sends five out. We bumped the tight end a little bit. Knock out. Ooh. But he catches that right there. Gets a fourth and four, man. He's 13 for 23. He's not playing the worst game, honestly. Those two picks put him in a hole, really, and... He fought out, but now now it's a pretty even game. Uh, fourth and four. This is this is big time. This is for his life, really. Down by 11. If he doesn't get this late in the third quarter, it's going to be tough. Motion left to right. I still have that third over there for corner routes. We're going to guard the tight end. Stay Let's true. Go. We get a Come sack on, right there. Big play by Bruce Smith. Uh, he had a good play on. He honestly had a couple receivers open. This is why the loop is so good. If you look at Bruce Smith, he's in a contain. He actually blocks the loop so well, but the, he just can't stay in the pocket long enough and has to drift away, and that just made the contain of Bruce Smith disengage. Honestly, if he would have stepped up instead of to the right, he would have had both Keyshawn on that slant and that crossing route that he tried to throw to her open. They both are, but he stepped into a contain, gets sacked, and he quits the game. So... There it is, boys. GGs, 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 GGs. I mean, that was certainly... We got blessed early, and then we started getting bagged. Bad. But all the passes I do that game, I probably would have do again, man. We got to do a better job clicking on, getting in front of the ball, high-pointing the football. My, my real receivers out there, man. So, let's take a look at the brackets now, man. I want. We'll see where we're at. As we moved on, we get this dub right here. We got that dub. Against Pogue Vision, we move on. Now we're going to face Chaz. Chaz, 1078. 
He's knocked out some good players in Crollo. What? Look, he is ranked 176 seed, so not that good. But you see, Hammer Pants knocked out the 48 seed, and Chaz beat the 81 seed. So you never know after he knocks out Hammer Pants what Chaz has. And what's he going to bring to the table, man? So that's who we're going to play next in this tournament. I believe that's the round of 64 because we played 256, then we played 128, and six. Yeah. Round of 64 next against Chaz. So I know Chaz is always in the Twitch chat, man. He's a good guy, he's, and he's becoming a sweaty man player. So we're going to have to continue to play. Once again, two interceptions that game. Both of them on high balls that I could have did a better job getting my hands on. So we got to tighten up, man. Get this video to 500 likes. We're going to post game three tomorrow.